Hello everyone, high percentage if you are listening to this video right now is around Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2024. So today is a video. Uh, welcome and uh, if it's your first time, consider subscribing. I'm going to go to the point. So today's video I want to share with you how to log into your website. Uh, of course, I've uh, heard uh, most people cannot access uh, the login page or uh, the dashboard of their website so in this video i'm going to share with you how do you log into your website so high percentage uh, if your website is live you'll be able to see an information like this so this is how the website looks in a default way so the very first thing is you want to log into the dashboard so that we can be able to be on the dashboard part where you can make changes so how do you log into this part where you can make changes to your site anything you want to change so it all starts from let's say uh, this is your account. So this is uh, your GF account. I believe you all know something like this So from the GF account you realize that when you scroll into the bottom part before you reach the table There's always this part of your hosting and we have a, a, a button there written WP uh, Login so WP login there is a button that allows you to log into your website So like in this case if we click on that WP login it is going to open for us a page like this where in that page you are asked to put in a username and a password and if it is your first time these details you don't have them you don't have your username of your website and the password to your website don't use your jf account details to log in so let's say you can go ahead and click on this button here uh, or this place here written uh, i lost my password so in this scenario when you click on that part of lost your password you are supposed to be given a chance here to enter your email address or your username so the username you can enter here uh, for most of you high percentage the default username to your website is admin yes or you can just go ahead and put in the email you had used to to create that account like an example if you cl click check put in the email you'll, if the email is correct you are told something like check your email for the confirmation link then visit the login page so when you've received an email like this after putting in the email you had used to create your, your GF account uh, when you head over to your email address you're supposed to be able to see uh, details of uh, a link or you're supposed to receive an e-link or a reset link to reset password to your uh, account so like in this scenario here i'm heading over to my email so we have gone to our email and uh, let me try refreshing sometimes uh, the email may not be in the inbox so it may be on the spam folder so go ahead feel free to go ahead and check on the spam folder. like in this case you see we are refreshing our email inbox and we can't see the email if i go to maybe to the spam folder let me try going to the spam folder and we try refreshing if the spam folder maybe the link have been sent there so also when i'm going to the actual it is here you can see the email have been sent here we have the email here is from wordpress talking about password reset and when you open it it has a link here when you click on that link the link which have been showcased here that link there that link you can see the it has a link that link there you'll see a password yes you can easily remove this password here and uh, put in the password you can easily remember an example and then you click on save password so that is a uh, first way of how to reset your password if you receive a reset link now you'll be able to log in of course you log in uh, with the username and the password and you can see you put in the correct details and it logs into the dashboard that is the first way but now imagine a scenario where the reset link was not sent so if the reset link was not sent we have to reset our password if this reset link was not sent via email when we had requested it and you can see it is even showing the email the username so consider checking when you receive a reset link and ensure you check the username of your website not all of you the username will be your name most high percentage maybe is admin so let's say a scenario where your reset link was not sent via email so how are you going to access uh, the details so the second way of um, resetting or your website details uh, is the second part where we access the database and that is where this button of client area uh, comes in so the client area is a button inside your GF account. So when you access your account and you click on client area, uh, you will be led to a page looking like this. Now when you are here, ensure you just scroll to the bottom part. Uh, scroll to the bottom and then you click on login to direct admin, this one here. So when you click on login to direct admin, uh, you will be led to a page looking like that way. And then here, uh, just a second, I don't know what happened to the internet. I think it is reconnecting any second, uh, just a 
good so where uh, it will, will be led to a page like this so just go ahead and click on the the dots on the top right corner those many dots when you click on those dots it will be lead you to features like this now just scroll to the bottom and click on this feature written php my admin so php my admin that is it uh, php my admin so you click it when you click on php my admin it will load login or it will load a page like this so uh, where we are is the database so ensure you don't um, if you know don't know what you are coming to do here um, avoid accessing this area because you can mess up with the entire website from here so here choose the one with your name so the one with the section of your name that one like that one there in this case Glennis. yes don't, don't open the information schema just open the one with your name so you click it when you click it other informations will appear down here so scroll to the bottom and then click the one of wp7 users click the one of wp h7 h7 users click the one of users so we'll click it when you click it another page have opened but because we are using our phone version you may be able not be able to see the page so what you are going to do on the top right corner there's an arrow there's an arrow on the top right corner can you see it there's an arrow on the top right corner that arrow that arrow that small arrow on the top right corner that arrow on the top right corner so you click it when you click on that arrow a page like this will showcase so go ahead and click on edit you can see edit so go ahead and click on edit so when you click on edit here is now we can edit the information uh, about our website so the very first thing if for some uh, reasons you wanted to change your username here is where you change the username so you can see that uh, place is the username so when you scroll to the right when you scroll to the right you will see there is a box there and then there is a box where there is the username that one then the same same applies if you wanted to change the password that is the the button of the password the the line of the password yes i believe you can see it this one yes if you wanted to change your password that is the line of the password and uh, you can see it there the line of the password yes so that is it so if you wanted to change your password that is the line of the password so you can see this is the password and then here is the box where you just delete the information you are seeing there and then you go ahead remove it and enter the password you wish to use when you're done entering the password in the middle here there is this box so this box will only change it for the password part don't change it for the email or for the username and all those kind of things no so you just click it and then you scroll down and look for md5 so md5 is this one here click it click md5 and uh, after clicking md5 you have ch uh, don't, you don't need to know what it is here is also the same place where we want if we wanted to change our email address we could also change it from here that is where you want you change your email address if you wanted to change it when you are done putting all those go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click on go so go means uh, you are saving those details so when you have uh, click on go you can now go ahead and uh, access your dashboard so when you come back to the login page maybe you come back to the login page you now just put in the username and the password you have uh, set ensure to make sure if it is a capital capital small small if you have put a space in a password the space is part of a password okay like a space so that is how to change the login details to your website so if both scenarios but if the first part didn't work for you the second one second one should work for you high percentage so uh I hope this video helped you to log into your website. If not, comment in the um, drop a comment in the comment section of which part you have a challenge in, and I'll be sure to get back to you or make a video to help you. Yes, this is TJ George TMS. Consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Happy New Year 2024. Maybe if you're watching this video right away, it is must be maybe a Christmas day. But if you're watching it later, uh, see you at the top. TJ George TMS.